Shall we play a game? Oaks Game Room says. Yes. Yes we shall. One. Of. Us. One. Of. Us. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Oak's Game Room. I am Oak, and today I am on Fishing Planet, and I had a request, suggestion, idea from an OGR member about this game, about Fishing Planet, about the retrieval technique uh, quality of reeling in your bait and getting like uh, if you're familiar with the game you'll know what i'm talking about right off the bat but if you're not i'm going to show you uh let's say you cast out and at the top right and i will hit my key here right here at the top right you will get a retrieval message as to how you're retrieving your current lure now you see it says twitching and there's three dots there and if I let it go a little bit, and it'll say straight and slow, and and if I twitch just maybe a little bit, maybe once ever so often, oh, I'm reeling in so fast, it's automatically going to quality three. But the twitching, it's got like three dots right there. That means you're doing the best twitching technique that you possibly can. Now, if I stop twitching by right clicking, uh, you got straight and slow. And I can increase my reel speed, and we can go straight and fast. Oh, we're still going straight and slow. Oh, I don't have a heavy enough lure on for that. Sorry. But anyway, you get the gist. At the top right, there it is, straight. And three, three dots. And there are different techniques that you can use to when you're reeling an artificial lure in. Now, this does not apply to live bait such as night crawlers or crickets or grasshoppers or uh, you know things like that which you'll use with the bobber or things and i was asked about you know teaching uh, someone the best technique to get a three dot retrieve in all of those different retrieves and there are several of them there's stop and go uh, I don't know if I can do that or not with this lure. I might be able to. But there are there are different retrieves. Like you, you'll reel in and stop. Let it fall. Reel in and stop. Yeah, there's stop and go. See how it's two dots? Now it's only one. And you can see that at the top. And now it's two. And now it's three. Well, obviously, three is the best retrieve. That's that's the best way that you can perform that particular method of using that artificial lure. Well, what I was asked about, uh, long story short, was, you know, can you teach me those techniques to get all of those up to three dots? It doesn't matter. Um, basically, if you see that, it means you're doing that technique. Now, it is good to learn the different techniques. But as far as uh, I've been playing, gosh, I don't know. Let me. I don't. I don't know if I can even alt tab out back to Steam. Uh, 392 hours I played this game. Um, gosh, seems like a lot more. But uh, I've been playing it for several years in um, level 40. Uh, I was max level and then took it up uh, three rank or four ranks. After it was 40, I'm working on 41 now. After not long ago, they raised the max level to 50, and I'm working on getting up to level 50 now. And that stops the ranks and pulls the levels back. So now all my XP is going toward my levels until I hit 50, and then it'll go back to ranks. But regardless of that, just telling you my experience with the game. I've played it a long time, and I've caught so many different fish and as you can see here today it, uh, we're in florida and it takes like seven thousand uh, dollars game money to get to florida and we've i've already earned uh, almost thirty thousand dollars on this trip today so you know we're we're over twenty two thousand dollars to the good so we know what we're doing 
been fishing a lot and have tried all those techniques, used all those techniques, and I'm here to tell you today, they do not matter. They don't matter other than teaching you or using it as a guide to um, learn those techniques. And I'll, uh, I was mentioning that, mentioning that to someone today, an OGR member, uh, or actually yesterday, I believe it was, and I just wanted to record a vid, a quick vid, to show that it doesn't really matter what that technique is because this game is, and I, I'm here to tell you, this is the most realistic fishing simulation game you will ever play. I've, I've played a bunch of them, and I've seen a couple of videos on other ones that I did not buy simply because of what I saw. And um, this one I played for a while. I played a couple of other ones for a while, and um, but this one is by far the most realistic as far as the simulation game. And this translates into exactly the reason I say that, because those little dots up there are used as a guide, not actually making you catch more fish, it has nothing to do with the strike. It has nothing to do with the size of the fish that hits your lure when you're using an artificial lure because I catch a lot of fish, a lot of big fish and small fish, both, um, using techniques that I use in real life that don't even show up as a technique on here. So you, you can bait fish, if you excuse the pun, you can bait fish into biting with an artificial lure by using techniques that you use in real life, if you're if you're a fisherman, and I've been fishing, that's my favorite pastime. I love to fish, and I've fished since I was a little kid. I'm 49 years old right now, and I've I've fished since I was a little teeny kid. My dad took me fishing and camping and hiking and all that, and I'm a I'm a glorified outdoor boy. Loved it since I was a kid, and I've I've fished with just about every lure and and bait you can name within my area uh west virginia anyway and uh, and in ohio and kentucky but um i use the the same techniques with artificial lures that i use in real life and i catch fish on this game and big fish and i've caught uniques in this game even on uh, techniques that don't even show up at the top right and that's what i'm going to show you right now what we're in uh, we're in florida right now and i'll bring this up and show you where where we are in case you actually want to try this yourself um we're in uh we're in the everglades we're in the florida everglades and i'm at the salty delta right now now during the day let me be up front with you during the day right here is where you want to be for the most part right here the lily pad channel and uh you want to cast over here for your unique largemouth bass right there's where your unique largemouth bass are now that said just like in real life the game simulates you caught a fish out of this spot it's going to be a minute or two or five you know six seven before you catch another fish out of here so what you want to do you want to catch one from here you want to catch one from here one from here one from way down here in the channel one from over here one from up here, one from right here, and then go back to here. So um, if you want to keep catching the larger bass and, um, and bringing up your uh, money for your trip, what you want to do is start out here, and then you want to move up here for a peacock bass and the chance at a gar here or another peacock bass. And there, there are several spots here you can fish. Then jump over to here and that's what we're going to fish right now now during the day i fish with uh, uh let me bring that up really quick during the day i fish with a uh, frog popper uh five eighths three yacht hook it's a five eighths ounce lure and it's a three yacht hook and that pink one right there and that's what I fish with during the day in uh, these spots right here, top water. And the way you fish that is you right click, and maybe I'll show you that before this is over with. I mean, we're not going to catch anything because it's nighttime, but I'll show you the technique. You just cast out and you hit your left and right mouse buttons at the same time, and that'll pop it once, and just keep repeating that until until you get your fish. And that's during the daytime, but right now i wanted to show you how you can use a technique that brings up no dots at all none 
and you can still catch fish with no dots at all so keep in mind where i'm fishing right now and where i would you know the lure or you know the lure that i would fish with during the daytime are different it's i use a different lure at night so we're right here we're at the boardwalk and when you log in you'll see this you'll see this right here and you won't have your rod out and this is where you'll be right here salty delta in the everglades right here is where we are all right we come out we come up and what i am using right now i'm going to go to this bottom right corner so that i can get a little better angle down this way so you can stand where you want but i would suggest you stand at this bottom right corner of the dock and what i'm using is a crankbait and it, i we you don't need a 30 foot it doesn't matter what foot the crankbait is your main thing is right there is the size of the hook now the bigger the size of the hook in this game the bigger uh, the size of the fish you're going to catch. So if you want to catch the bigger fish, you want to use a six odd hook down here. You don't want to use a um, uh, three out like we've got a three yacht right here, and we're fishing at nighttime, so we have to use a nighttime lure like that to catch some nice fish here at nighttime. And so we've got a three odd hook option, we've got a two odd hook option, and we've got a six odd. And here in the Florida Everglades, fishing for these big old bass and bowfin and things like that we we want that big that big hook so it doesn't matter the depth of it you know it's a 30 foot depth but the way we're going to fish it that doesn't matter you know I'll, I'll show you right here and keep in mind these are not weedless so scope this out in the daytime when you can actually see something so you'll know <laughs> halfway know where to cast um, we might even get hung up on weeds here when when we fish here but without further ado We'll just go ahead and cast out. And if you'll watch at the top right, whenever I do this, you'll see there are no dots for any kind of a procedure at all. And let me tell you what I'm doing when I'm fishing this. I'm pressing the left mouse button and the right mouse button at the same time, exactly like I do when I'm popping with that popper in the daytime. So, left and right mouse button. Now you'll see up there how that crankbait drops down pops back to the surface now you see why it doesn't matter what depth of a lure we use because we're not using it like that we're not going to continuously reel it in we're just going to pop it down from the top and let it pop back to the top dive it down again in little spurts and that's all we're going to do and you'll notice there are no dots up there at all as of you know there's no technique showing up up there oh, right there and we've got a hit already boom and we're ooh, yeah we're reeling in, we're reeling in a nice fish here and that was just that was from that technique that we were using that showed up as no dots and we've got a nice large mouth bass here just from that trophy check it out uh, over 21 inches and six over six and a half pounds 691 bucks we'll keep that and that was all from a technique that showed zero dots there were no dots at all on the top of that screen none so we'll cast out here back in that channel we use the same technique same thing all you do is mash you reel it up tight and then mash the left and mouse button left and right mouse button at the same time that's it just over and over again and to perfect it just watch the top and you'll get used to it at time at uh, over time and you'll get the timing down pat but at the beginning watch the top right and make sure your lure is back at the top of the water before you press your left and right mouse button again and just keep doing that over and over and you'll keep that action going it'll dive down he'll pop back up break the top of the water and in real life, what that does is it causes a commotion. Uh, oh, we missed him. You'll, and you'll have that. They'll, they'll come up. They'll break the water. And where you're right and left clicking at the same time, you're, there, you'll have a, a good, really good chance of actually missing the fish. But all you do is recast, cast right back at the same spot, and get him again. But obviously, you want to keep doing it, keep reeling it in, because he will follow it. Oh, we're way down. We're way down. All right, let him pop back to the top. 
Now I'll start doing it again. And what that doesn't... Mm, oh, he see, he grabbed it again. He grabbed... Oh, there we go. There we go. He's on it. He was following it. He wanted... Oh, that's a decent fish there. That might be a bowfin. But what that does... Oh, it's... Um, oh, yeah, it's a snook. Check him out. Over 28 inches, over 12 pounds, 466 bucks. See, that's going to help pay for your trip. You get your XP on top of that, but helping pay for that $7,000 trip, you go into the, you know, after 9 o'clock at night. Good stuff. So now we are going to hop. Um, those are the two spots here. Now we've got our bass out of there. We're going to hop over to Lily Pad Channel. And we're going to work this area since we've got those two over there. They need some cool off time. So they need a little bit of cool off time. So we're going to come over here. Normally with a frog, I would cast right straight over those weeds right there because it's weedless. Well, now at night and or if you're using a crankbait, you want to cast a little bit out to the right of that right there. As long as you're coming down near that tuft of grass right there. That tuft of grass is what we're working and we're going to do the same. See that swirl right there? That's what we're working on. That area right there. And we're doing the same exact thing as we would be doing with that popping frog. We're just left clicking and right clicking at the same exact time. Waiting until it breaks the surface again. And rinsing and repeating. And I, again what that does, which I got interrupted. Squirrel! <laughs> Anyone who knows me. I got interrupted over there, so I broke off in mid-idea. But what that does is your lure dives down, and then it breaks the surface of the water and causes little ripples every time that lure comes up in real life. And it does in the game as well. So that's one of the reasons that I say, and I am proving right now, with those two really nice uh, catches back there, that it doesn't matter how many dots that you have or any kind of a, a retrieve thing that you have up there. Now, certain fish do require a certain kind of retrieve, such as walleye, stop and go on the bottom and things. But you can catch them other ways. But if you're fishing down here and, and other areas, I mean, don't pay attention to or don't pay too much attention. Oh, yeah, here we go. Don't pay too much attention to whether that... Uh, whether that's a bowfin. Oh, yeah, there we go. Here, 100 bucks, 20 inches, over three and a half pounds. Don't pay too much attention to. I'm going to keep fishing while I talk. Don't pay too much attention to um, exactly, you know, those, those three dots, whether it's one, two, or three dots. Use that as a guide to, to help you learn how to fish. Don't use it as a. Uh, you know, a definitive thing of whether or not you're actually going to get uh, right there. Look at there. Whether or not you're actually going to get a bite or whether you're going to catch a fish, nor the size of the fish you're going to catch. Now, in a normal video game situation, you would think that, but this is not an arcade game. This is, oh, <laughs> he jumped off. We lost we, right, right at the bank. Right at the bank, we lost tension, and he threw the lure. Little ornery bum. <laughs> but don't let that at all, I mean, you know, make any kind of a difference to where you think you're going to get a bite or, you know, if it's going to make... Uh-oh, we're hung up. Let's get this loose first. All right, we're loose. Do we have weeds? Yeah, we got weeds. All right, let's, we let's reel it in and get the weeds off here. <laughs> but don't let that, you know, worry you as far as, uh, we got a lily pad. There we go. Throw that on the stringer. <laughs> don't let that have any, you know, bearing on what you view as uh, how well you're doing or how big of a fish you're going to catch or, you know, how often you're going to get a strike or how soon you're going to get a strike it makes no difference at all none and the entire time that i played this game and i played it a lot caught a lot of fish different kinds of fish uh, there we go different kinds of bait 
and as you saw right there top right of the screen nothing no retrieve listed at all no dots listed at all and uh we're still catching really look at there trophy over 22 inches almost seven and a half pounds 784 bucks near toward our trip and um so don't let that discourage you with your um how you know how, how soon you think you're going to get a hit how big of a fish you think you're going to catch how well you think you're doing don't worry about it just use it as a guide to help you along and um it does help you to figure out uh, as you go how to do each technique and wh what technique you're doing by the motions you're doing with the rod and how you're reeling it in and the speed you're reeling and the amount you're you're twitching your rod and all that stuff it, it obviously does help with that but as a guide it, it does not make a bit of difference whenever you're actually fishing for the fish so use it mm, there we go use it as a guide only and uh, just fish like you would in real life give it a try I mean give it a try as uh, a lot of the other fishing games I mean there there are a couple that are really you know nice as far as uh, simulation and they they look pretty good they don't have nearly the you know the fish scope and the fish scale and the places to fish most definitely the different places to fish as this game does but the thing that separates it for me is the ambience around me. I mean, I feel like, mm, there we go. I feel like I'm fishing. And the most important thing to me that differentiates this game, this fishing game, this fishing simulator from the other simulators is I can use techniques that I use in real life in this game and they work. So to me, yeah, trophy yard almost 40 inches long over 14 pounds mm -mm 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 -mm. and i can use the techniques that i use in real life in this game and it makes it feel more real and so as per those those dots up in the top right hand corner of the screen with those retrieve retrieval types and you know things like that I'm just, that was the main purpose of this video, uh, to show the OGR community and, and you as well. If you surfed in, thank you very much and hope you enjoy the vid. And, uh, but it's just to show you and give you a little heads up. Use the little three, the three little dots up there in the top right as a guide and not so much as a end all be all for your ability to catch fish. So, we'll, oh, oh, we missed him. We missed him. All right, well, we'll try to get this ornery thing here, and we'll make one more cast, and we'll see what's happening. Come back up to the top. Come back up there. We can see that glow. But, I mean, you know, as you can see in the top right of the screen, there are no, no retrievals. There's no dots. There's no anything no quality of retrieval or anything like that and oh we got another hit right there but he just barely tapped it and we missed him but again uh, what i'm doing right here i'm casting out letting the lure letting that crankbait hit the water and you can use this in the daytime as well and this isn't oh, oh he hit again and we missed him again you bum Ah, oh, that's a stealth fish right there. <laughs> Either that or he's a teeny weeny thing. And ah, uh, there we go. We got you that time, Shadow Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a oh, it's a large oh, it's a butterfly peacock. Nice. But yeah, you can use this uh, in the daytime as well. I mean, if you're out and all you have on you at the particular time, as I'm sure you will come to realize over time, sometimes 
you'll leave and you'll be at a lake and you're like dang on it i forgot to bring that lure or this lure and if all you have uh crankbaits with you which you should always carry everywhere there's another heads up carry at least one or two crankbaits with you for each rod setup you got no matter where you go because they're good for largemouth bass they're good for pike they're good for smallmouth bass uh oh, 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 oh yeah there we go and uh, i i've even caught catfish on them uh, so and i've caught uh, catfish in real life on a crankbait caught a uh, gold trout a little over 20 inches long at uh, at a lake on uh a uh, three and a half inch crankbait blew my mind <laughs> but anywho uh i think that i think i've made my point and uh i think that's you've seen what you need to know so take that run with it and uh just remember up here at the right here where my see my cursor right here up here at the top right where you see those three little dots up there that tells you how well you're doing on your retrieve and your current technique with that current lure don't worry too much about that use it as a guide and don't worry about it so much whenever you're actually fishing for the real fish so with that i'm going to head out you all have a good one as we sit here on over thirty three thousand dollars worth of fish on a seven thousand dollar trip mm, 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 mm. it's gonna be one heck of a time by the campfire tonight let me tell you that brother and sister i'm gonna head out you all have a good one. Love you. Thanks for the support over the years. And uh, I will see you the next time. As always, from oaksgameroom.com, I am Oak. Bye-bye.